to like it, but I thank God for the covering. Hey, show talabaha. Rande le beki o, sete le beki o, nada masiki ando lo kopa yande deke. For the covering, let's go, God. Rasete le besaya. Let's go, God. God, I thank you. Verse 2 says this, and it shall be. I got to let that alone. When you are come nigh unto the battle. See. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. When you are come nigh unto the battle. It says that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people. Okay Lord Jesus you going to let me talk to him tonight. Yeah. You want me to go in there and mess with all that tonight. I, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Listen. Uh, verse 3. Let's go. I need to read four verses. And then I'm going to come through. And I'm going to expound on them on these four verses. Verse 3 says. And shall. And shall shall say unto them, this is what the priest is going to say, hear O Israel, Lord have mercy hear O Israel, somebody your issue is, is you ain't hearing, God help me knock, knock, knock your issue is, is you not hearing God help me Lord Jesus Christ you're not in the right company to hear what you need to hear Lord Jesus, let them be move on hear O Israel, ye approach this day it says this day, this day, this day, unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint. Fear not. And do not tremble. <laughs> I thank you for the army of the Lord. Do not tremble, neither be ye, be ye terrified because of them. God help me tonight. Verse 4 says, For the Lord your God, I did his soul. For the Lord your God, God help me, is he that that goeth with you. What you say, God? What you say? He goeth with you to fight for you. What you say, God? To fight for you. No, 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 no. Say, so you going with me? I ain't by myself. They think I'm walking alone, but I ain't alone. He goeth with you to fight for for you against your enemies, then then what you gonna do, God? It says to save you, Lord. I wanna thank you. Oh God, I wanna thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh God, I wanna thank you, y'all. I seen him literally do that for me to save you. Cause if some folk would have had their way with me, if the desires of their heart of what they wanted to happen to their feet would have happened, Lord, I wouldn't be sitting here today being able to do what God has called me to do. But because of this word right here, for the Lord your God is he that goeth with you. Go on here. They drug me in the courtrooms. But the Lord went with me. It says to fight for you, the Lord fought for me. I seen him do it against your enemies to save you. God, I thank you. Lord, I love you. I don't told y'all we got the victory. I'm trying to tell your heart as I can. We got the victory, y'all. We got the victory. God, help me, please. And let me get in here before I extract in the text and talk to y'all about the word we for a second. Uh, the word we, this is what the Lord would say to me. I wrote this down together. <clears throat> The definition the Lord said to expound on concerning the word tonight, we is together, which means that you don't only have the victory. I don't only have the victory, but we got the victory. We got the victory, y'all. God, help me, please. I said we got the victory, y'all. God help me, please. <laughs> you don't just have it by yourself. <laughs> we got the victory. <laughs> Can I get a few of y'all to catch that? <laughs> we got the victory. <laughs> that means <laughs> that not only am I fighting for me, but I'm fighting for you as well. Not only am I believing for me, but I'm believing for you as well. We got we means together. Let's go to the word got. Got 
uh, is the past and past participle of get, all oh, which means that uh, you are sitting there concerned and worried about getting the victory when God done already gave you the victory. The word got means that you already have it. You've already laid hold of it. It's the past participle of the word get. Uh, so it doesn't mean that you're not in route of getting the victory. Victory has already been given to you. You just need to manifest or walk out the victory that has already been given to you. Lord, help me, please. Uh, many times we uh, fail in presenting victory because uh, we don't realize that we already have the victory. We are so wondered, we, we're so caught up in the fact of try, I'm trying to get the victory honey. I'm trying to get over this when the Spirit of the Lord has already gotten you over this. If we would just uh, uh, abide in Him and His Word abide in us. That's what it says. Uh, it's all about that abiding. God help me please. Uh, it's all about that uh, it's all about that abiding in. What you abide in. Once you abide in Him and He abides in you. He says you can ask whatsoever you will. There is no way that he can abide in you and be God. There is no way that he can abide in you and be sovereign. There is no way that he can abide in you and be victorious and you not have victory. So what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Huh? God help me. What you doing? got victory. You got to understand the word got is the past participle of the word get. Catch the word past. Past, which means it done already happened. It done already happened. It done already happened. So it's done already happened. What you got to do is, and what I have to do is, is step into that that has already happened and get out of the place of fear is in a zone where you do not know. That's where fear comes. Fear lives in a zone of the unknown. That's where fear is. But if we get out of the realm of fear, out of the unknown, and get into the realm of God, which means that I already have, I can step up in the situation and say, ain't worry about that right now. Why? Because I got the victory. Oh, God, help me tonight. I ain't worrying about that right now. Why? Because I got the victory. Uh-huh. 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 What? I don't care about what they say about what they do. What? Why? Because I got the victory. See, I got the victory. So it's fear. When fear has come in and when fear has gripped, that means that you are not living in a place of God. I said tonight we got the victory. I done told you that's it. When fear has gripped you and when you are operating out of a spirit of fear, it is only because you are not living in the realm of God. In the realm of God. To God means it is the past participle of the word get, which means that it's something that has already happened. So you got the victory. We holler, we got the victory, but still be in a place of struggle. Still be in a place of time. I don't know when it's going to happen. I'm just saying I got the victory. I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I'm just going to just keep speaking it. I'm just going, you know, I'm, I'm just going to. Fake it till I make it. Get out of here with that. I ain't studying none of that. We got the victory. Why? Because Christ has already given us the victory, y'all. Christ has already paid the price for everything. The ultimate thing, the ultimate, all of it, ultimately, is in Christ. It is within Christ. Every bit of it is. So we got the victory. So when we say, I got the victory, that means that I already have the victory. The thing of it is, is you might not not see the victory, but I got the victory. Go ahead and break it down for him, Pastor Lee. I'm going to do it. Just hold your horses. I'm coming. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Check it out. Go right here and verse, let's see which one is it, verse one or is it verse two? Uh, 
Verse 1, verse 1, Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 1. Let's get up in here. He says, when thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seeth horses. Now, look what he says now. You are in route to go to battle, but you already got the victory. God help me tonight. You are in route to go to battle, but you already got the victory. The battle is so that your enemies know that they are defeated. Come on, somebody help me. Scott, where you at? Uh, Listen, somebody pray for me. Check this out. The battle is not so that you see that you got victory because you already know you got victory. The battle is so that your enemies know you got victory. Why? Because they think they're big and bad. Um, because they think that they can punk you. Um, because they think that they can run up on you and just handle you any kind of way. And so now the Lord thy God has got to reveal his strength. He's got to show forth that you belong to him. He's got to come through shining in the light of his glory. So he says, listen, this is what's going to happen, baby. You already got victory, but I need to let them jokers know you got it. So what's going to happen is, is you're going to go on down and you're going to go on down to battle, but it's not so that you know that you win because see, you already should know you the winner when you get ready to go to battle. You supposed to already know you the winner when you get ready to go to battle. Every time, Lord, have mercy, can I tell my story? Yeah, Lord, have mercy. Listen here, from 2006, or uh, was it 2008? One tell of me, it was either 2006 or 2008. I think it was 2008 somewhere, one, one, one of them anyway. But check this out right here. I got drugged into the courtroom. Uh, oh, my Lord. It was one year I got drug in the courtroom every month up until the month of October in an, in, in an event to attempt to attack me, uh, to kill my character, to make me to be someone that I knew inside I was not for real. Now, I had done some things. Don't get me wrong. Now, I'm not saying I was squeaky clean. I ain't going to tell that lie. But it was in an effort to try to hurt me, to try to sabotage me or try to defy my character character so that I could not be who I am and do what I do. I was drugged in the courtrooms. Now, when I first initially got ready to go into the courtroom, there was a thing of fear that attempted to try to hit me. Fear came up on me to grip me real heavy. But, oh, at one point in time, because of the people that had done grabbed a hold of the bandwagon on the, in the uh, attempt to hurt me, uh, boy, it looked as though they had me. I'm telling y'all my story and God knows I'm telling the truth. It looked like they had me y'all. I'm telling you. I seen people names on papers that I don't even know. But they were signing and conspiring with those that were attempting to hurt me uh, or to literally wanted to get rid of me is what they was wanting to do. Uh, uh, there was people that were signing with them, got papers where they signed as witnesses saying that I had did particular things and all this kind of stuff, notarizing papers and all that kind of stuff. People that I, I if they walked up to me, I don't even know who the people are. So help me God, but they were doing this thing, so it looked as though like oh Lord, for a moment I ain't gonna I gotta tell y'all the truth about it for a moment it looked like they had me boy, it looked it pretty bad for me, like oh Jesus Christ they, oh Lord, what am I gonna do and they got this stuff right here it was particular people that I would have thought would have been there for me and that, 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 that wasn't there for me, that had turned their backs against me ah, I, can't, I, I dare not even tell y'all who some of the people were because it was it, it will break your heart. Your mouth will be like this. Are you serious, Pastor Lee? They did that to you? Mm-hmm. Sure did. It looked it like they had me. And so this this first round, I'm going in, it seemed as a, and, and fear tried to grip me because it was an unknown ram that I hadn't been in, you know. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what to expect or, or anything, you know. So it, it attempted to try to get me. But there was something in, inside of me. I went in in that first, uh, that first encounter when I went in, fear was riding me, boy. When I tell you it was riding me, it was all over me, on my clothes, everywhere, had me, had me locked down like, 
Yeah, he's just feeling like, oh, yeah, they got you because you see all them people right there. See, you ain't got nobody, but they got all these people right here, and they don't pay this money, all this kind of stuff like this. You ain't paid no money like they don't pay money in order to do what they trying to do to you. So then, you know, it's like they're going to they gonna, they gonna get you. They're going to get you. And so we go in, and it's first time, and things go, it, it didn't it didn't work out, you know, it's whatever, we have to go back. By this time, I done shook myself, done came to my senses, done began to start dealing with myself, had to keep saying to myself, girl, you got the victory. Do you understand me? You got the victory. I had to say to myself, listen to me. Listen